The Venus 1500 Schedule Studio is used to configure schedules for the displays. This section will help you to set start and stop dates and start and stop times for messages to run in the display on a day-to-day, hour-to-hour, and minute-to-minute -minute basis. Two very convenient features of the Venus 1500 version 3 are that first, you can have as many as 200 entries for version 3 and Galaxy Pro displays. Schedules for more than one type of display can be open for editing at the same time. We'll start by having a quick look at the Schedule Studio's toolbar. The toolbar, located below the menu bar at the top of the Schedule Studio, can be used to simplify some commands. You may find that some buttons may not be active or are grayed unless an entire entry or group of entries is selected. Let's see first some of the commands you may want to use as you work in the Schedule Studio. To select a line or entry, click on its number at the left side of the screen. To select a range of entries, press and hold Shift while using the mouse to click on the first and last lines of the range. To choose several non-consecutive lines, press and hold Control while clicking the desired lines. Many of the toolbar's icons are very similar to other software for word processing, which makes it even easier to operate this tool. You can open new and existing files with these two buttons here, save your schedules on the disk by clicking on these other ones, and you can cut, copy, and or paste selected entries in the schedule. Also, you can add an entry and or delete it with the yellow plus and minus signs, move entries up and down with the black arrows, group events, and print the schedule you created. As in all other sections of the Venus 1500 software, in the Schedule Studio 2, you have a help menu to consult topics at any time you're working on a schedule. When creating or editing a schedule, there are a few things you should keep in mind. First of all, the messages scheduled to run during the same time frame will appear in the order they are listed in the schedule entries. Second, the schedule is limited to 200 entries for version 3 controllers. This includes both messages and brightness commands. In addition, when setting start and stop times and dates, the start time and date must be earlier in the day than the stop ones. If the start time and date is later than the stop one, the event will never begin.